Our next speaker tonight is a special education teacher who works with students who have visual impairments. And she's here to talk about one of the cruelest visual impairments of them all. Please welcome Patty Smith. Kidding me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Retinitis pigmentosa is an inherited eye disease that's kind of like a cheesy monster in a cheesy 80s movie because you don't know when it's going to strike. And your vision starts out 2020, you'd be able to see like that, but eventually it becomes this tunnel vision, which is exactly what it sounds like, like you're looking through a, a tube of wrapping paper. And from there, you don't know how much, if you're going to lose all your vision or some, will you lose it when you're 16, what will happen? RP is a disease that affects, retinitis pigmentosa is a disease that affects about 1 in 3,500 people, but it flies under the radar of most folks. It doesn't have bucket challenges, and there's no 5Ks and no ribbons that I know of. Um, it can affect anyone, including children. And I work with children who have RP as a teacher of the visual impaired, teacher of the visually impaired. And the kids don't know. Are they going to lose their vision when they're 16, getting ready to drive, when they're 26, when they're 50? They don't know what's going to happen. You can probably guess from the name, it affects your retina. And I want you all to bask in the glory of the eye. The eye is an amazing God nature, I don't, whatever you believe. Um, and it, 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 what simply, light goes through a lens, hits your retina, retina turns it into electrical impulses, shoots it up the optic nerve to your brain. And RP goes to the retina. And it affects some of the photoreceptor cells. And the first kind of photoreceptor it affects, we're gonna learn this, are called the cones. So everyone go do a C, cones, very good. Um, allow you to see color and your central acuity. Okay, so color, central. The second type of photoreceptor that RP affects are called rods. They allow you to see at night and out of sides of your eyes. And we remember this because Rod Serling, rest of soul, hosted the night gallery. And that's how you remember that. Periphery, just remember it, I don't know. Um, but what RP does is it first affects your rods. So what do we lose first if it affects rods? Our good job. Um, then it gets to your cones, and that's where it gets tricky. You don't know how, how far it's going to go. Um, most, of most of the students with RP do become legally blind, which is 2,200 or less in the better eye, um, and there's no cure. So what, what do you do? Well, as a teacher, I teach Braille in case they lose their vision altogether. We work on assistive technology, and we have a Kellogg Center and support groups. But at the end of the day, there's no cure for it. But there is some hope on the horizon. STEMI, the stem cell, and I are here to tell you that stem cells may be the answer to RP and other eye diseases. Um, it's very early stages, but... There's a group out in California um, who are looking at stem cells, They're actually taking retinal stem cells called progenitor cells, and they do three pretty cool things. They go to your rods, they go to the, the stem cells, go to the rods, and they help produce new ones. Then they go to the cones and they stabilize and protect the cones so there's no more damage. And the third thing, which I think is the coolest, these stems, there's some evidence these stem cells may actually turn into rods and cones themselves, stabilizing the retina and allowing sight. It would be amazing. Yes. Wow. Exactly. But we're a long, long way off. Um, NPR had a thing on uh, macular degeneration and stem cells. It's, it's kind of like that. Um, once they get FDA approval, they're going to start the clinical trials, injecting the stem cells in the retina. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, there's no cure. And I have students with RP. I have a 12-year-old right now. She can see. She's 2030, her vision. 10-year-old brother who's like 2200, so he's much lower vision. And I asked her to braille me a letter about what it's like to have RP. And after 20 minutes of, oh my God, are you serious? I really got to do this? She did. And she brailled a beautiful letter. And she said, you know, it's like this, Miss Smith. I can see, but you're making me learn braille. My brother knows braille. He can't see too well. And he's having these headaches. And I'm really worried that he's going to go blind before me. I'm older. I have things to show him. 
And at the end of the day, we don't know. She could go blind before her brother. He, he could stay where he is. You know, you just, you don't know. Um, but now you know about this disease called RP. And what I hope is that I'm back here doing Ignite in a few years, and I'm telling you that RP has been cured by stem cells. We've cured all the eye diseases, and I had to find another job. <laughs>